literally risks his life. It needs almost three minutes to get enough blood to feel full. And how successful the process is Wait. depends on the insect's luck and its saliva. Three minutes. Yo, what up, guys? Kelvin here. Today we're gonna be finding out why mosquitoes bite you more than others. I get mosquito bites a lot, especially during summertime. I think I know why. It might be because I taste like sesame chicken, maybe. You know, I don't know. I'm Asian, I'm Chinese, and they think I'm like a really good Chinese buffet or something. It's all you can eat meat, fresh meat, and they put soy sauce on it, and yeah. They again, you know, every day I get like two or three bites, it's crazy. But today I just want to find out why they love my blood. Okay, hopefully, you'll find this video interesting and make sure to get this video like an early thumbs up. It really, really help out the channel. And yeah, let's get right in with the soap. It's almost midnight, your room is dark, it's quiet around, and the temperature is just right. You're about to drift off when you hear the worst sound ever. Ah, oh, this buzzing. Mosquitoes have tracked you down again. I hate that feeling. Man, that happens like a couple weeks ago when there's one mosquito in my room and it was 2 o'clock in the morning. Every time I was about to fall asleep and the mosquito just, mm, I couldn't fall asleep. I had to kill the mosquito first and then go to sleep. If I don't kill the mosquito, then when I wake up in the morning, I usually get like five bites on my leg or something. Yeah, I can totally relate to that. So tasty about you that these bugs pick, pick you over all other people in the room every single night. You're such a sweet guy. Huh, think again. It might be about your blood. There's some proof that people with type O blood are the most popular among mosquitoes. The next preferred blood type is type A. Mosquitoes are great learners. They know how to connect some cues. For example, your smell with how delicious your blood is. If they like it, they might visit you again and again. Oh. Mosquitoes' penchant for picking you over others might not be about your blood. These buzzers are extremely skilled hunters. They pick up on the chemicals your body gives off. Their antennae have more than 70 different receptors. With their help, a mosquito can detect carbon dioxide in your breath from hundreds of feet away. Wow. When you work out or run, you produce more carbon dioxide. Mosquitoes detect such changes in the air. As soon as they realize you're nearby, <laughs> they move closer. These insects can also be attracted to certain compounds your sweat contains. These compounds can make you smell in a specific way, which can lure the buzzing bugs. Mosquitoes' favorite compounds are ammonia and lactic acid. Mmm, yum! Now, whether an insect likes your smell or not also depends on your genetics and the bacteria living on your skin. If some of your relatives get bitten by mosquitoes more often than other people, you might have the same problem on your hands. Same, I can say something about this because my dad, he get, get mosquito bites way more often than other people. And then I also get a lot of mosquitoes by too. It might be because of my dad. As for bacteria, the more diverse the molecules living on your skin are, the less attractive you are to mosquitoes. Your body generates heat and creates tiny amounts of water vapor close to your skin. How much exactly depends on the temperature around. When a mosquito gets closer to you, it analyzes the level of heat and the amount of water vapor. Only after that, it decides to bite or not to bite. <laughs> that is the question. Scientists it's kind of like uh, reminding me of when you order uh, chicken nuggets from uh, Chick-fil-A to dip or not to dip. That sounds like a Shakespeare poem, you know, to be or not to be, to bite or not to bite. <laughs> I bet that mosquito is a Shakespeare poem, you know. Discovered that mosquitoes prefer their food source, that's you, to be of a certain temperature, not too hot, not too cold. Ooh, Researchers like... aren't sure why, but mosquitoes seem to be attracted to people wearing dark clothes. It might be because these insects can hardly fly when there's even a light breeze. Then they try to stay closer to the ground. From down there, they spot people by comparing their shadows to the horizon. Light colors blend in and dark ones stand out. That's why if you're dressed in black, you become a desirable prey. It's also easier for me. So if the mosquitoes like dark 
clothed people. That means African Americans. You know their skin is very very dark. Does that also mean they get mosquito bites way more often than me? You know, if you are African American, leave it in the comment section below. Do you get a lot of mosquito bites? Like one mosquito will bite you like ten times because it tastes so good, or you know me, I just get like two or three bites. That's it. You know, so it's still very very annoying. But if you can comment on it, if you are African American, do you get more mosquito bites than comparing it to your white friends or Asian friends? You know, for mosquitoes to notice a moving object, motion sets it apart from its surroundings. By scurrying around or gesticulating a lot, you give yourself away. But unless you're ready to spend the summer dressed in all white and sitting still, you'll have to endure Skeeter's attacks. Oh. oh, by the way, the recommendation to move as little as possible is rather controversial. Mosquitoes are smart critters with a surprisingly good memory. If you start brushing them off or try to swat them, they'll remember your scent. And then they'll avoid you for at least 24 hours, not to get in harm's way. They'll hunt someone else instead. Now, in case you're asking, rain won't protect you from these buzzing predators. The average raindrop is more than 50 times heavier than a mosquito. Yet the tiny insect manages to fly around without any problems. Wow. For comparison, if it was a Boeing 747 that collided with a raindrop half a hundred times its size, it would have more than 2,000 tons of water crashing down on it. There would be no hope for the poor aircraft. Some people believe that mosquitoes are fast enough to dodge raindrops. In reality, these insects move too slowly to get knocked down from the sky. Their average flight speed is no more than one and a half miles per hour. If mosquitoes had to take part in a race, butterflies, honeybees, and plenty of other insects would leave them far behind. Whoa, At the I same time, this speed is still high compared to the skeeter's size. If you were that fast, you'd move at 200 miles per hour. Ooh. In any case, even though mosquitoes travel unhurriedly, their mass is so small that a raindrop doesn't splash after the collision. It flows around the bug without interrupting its flight. The only wow, thing that can protect you from being bitten is the wind. If it's faster than one mile per hour, mosquitoes can't fly. They prefer to feed at dawn and dusk. That's when the wind usually calms down and it gets more humid. If you have an opportunity to stay inside at these times, you'll save some blood. If a mosquito finds an uncovered patch of skin, it'll definitely go for it. But their preferred spots are around your head and feet. Scientists believe it has something to do with your body's temperature and the number of sweat glands in those places. When a skeeter bites you, it literally risks its life. It needs almost three minutes to get enough blood to feel full. And how successful the process is depends on the insect's luck and its saliva. Three minutes to get it full? Three minutes, that's a very long time. I mean, if it is, if a mosquito was on me for three minutes, I would slap the heck out of it. That's a lot of blood to take. And then he, the mosquitoes is not even paying for my blood, you know? But three minutes, that's like 180 seconds. Wow. The most difficult part is the moment when the mosquito pierces your skin. At that moment, you feel a stinging pain and are likely to squish the bug. That's why immediately after biting you, the mosquito injects its saliva. It's made up of more than 100 components. Most of them stop your blood from clotting so the bug can drink as much as it wants. Other components, called enzymes, serve as an anesthetic. Once they're in, you don't feel anything, but only until the bug leaves. After that, you start feeling all the itching horror of its bite. If you feel like scratching the offended spot non-stop. Yes, y'all, man, those are the worst. Whenever a mosquito bites you, man, you just cannot stop itching. But the sad thing is, it's so addictive. I mean, when you try to itch it, it feels so good. I don't know why. Man, it just feels really good. I just cannot stop it. Like, it just made my hand feel like it's a heaven or something, you know? But mosquitoes, they are something else. You're allergic to mosquito enzymes, but it's nothing to worry about. Most people are. By the way, the ones that leave itchy red bumps on your skin are female mosquitoes. Males stick to vegan products like fruit and nectar and wish you no harm. 
There are many mosquito species you don't have to be worried about. Not only do their males feed on nectar, females' diets is pretty much plant-based too. The only time when they might go after you is when they're ready to reproduce. Your blood contains proteins, liquids, and other nutrients needed for their eggs to form. Some mosquitoes won't bother you because they're only interested in animals. There are bugs that bite only birds and those that feed on amphibians and reptiles. So don't get surprised if one day a mosquito lands on your pooch and ignores you. Most skeeters get born in damp places and stay there throughout their lives. Females need just a few inches of standing water to lay eggs. Some species even breed in puddles left after rainstorms. After tiny larvae grow up, they keep living in the area. But then there are salt marsh mosquitoes. Unlike the rest, which can travel no more than three miles, these fly huge distances, up to 100 miles. Whoa. That's how picky they are about the place to settle down. Wow. Researchers used to think that only male mosquitoes could track their potential mate's wing beats. It turns out, though, that females listen for suitable partners, too. When a male and female mosquito meet, their wing beats synchronize. Their wings begin to move at the same speed, and this speed can reach 300 to 600 beats per second. And that explains the irritating buzzing sound most people dread. But wouldn't our world be a better place without mosquitoes? Yes. These insects are ancient. Researchers once discovered a 46 million year old fossil of a mosquito whose belly was still filled with blood. And recent studies claim these bugs have been around for more than 200 million years. It means mosquitoes are among the world's toughest species. They're almost impossible to wipe out. Come to think of it, you get bitten by the same creature that once bit dinosaurs. Well, I thought it was a cool fact. That's cool. Mosquitoes aren't that bad either. Out of more than 3,000 existing species, no more than 200 feed on people. Mosquito larvae clean water by eating waste it contains. Mosquitoes even pollinate flowers. Several types of mosquitoes have a crucial ecological role. They gather in huge buzzing clouds in Arctic Russia and become the main food source for migrating birds. Scientists who made needles less painful were inspired by the mosquito's mouthpiece, proboscis. It's not just a sharp straw through which the insect draws blood. The thing consists of six separate thin parts protected by an outer layer. Some of these pieces are extra sharp to cut through your skin. Something else to consider as you hear that certain buzzing sound while trying to go to sleep. All right, that is pretty cool. I definitely learned a lot. So we can look at the comments and see what they are about to say. Let's see. First comment. Who else want to meet the narrator and see if he speak like this in real life too? I mean, the narrator sounds pretty normal to me. Mosquitoes are the only female I attracted these days. <laughs> That's pretty good. <coughs> that is pretty good. I can get that a thumbs up. That is pretty good. I can relate to. <laughs> I slap mosquitoes and they still come back. Man, those mosquitoes, they want some bad boys, you know. You get their toxic relationship, you know, and you, you be abusive, but they still come back. Don't start to claim your before one million view ticket. <laughs> it almost gained one million. Oh, half a million. Almost one million. Right there. Let's see what else. What if mosquitoes were big as spiders? That would be terrifying. Oh, heck no. It would be terrible, terrifying. I mean, but I see mosquitoes that was like super big too. You know those big ones that I see? I don't know what they call, I don't know if they are mosquitoes or do they bite humans. I don't want them to bite me because it look really, really painful. But most of the mosquitoes are really, really tiny and they love my blood. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification. And my social media link is in the description below. And yeah, my name is Kelvin. I'll see you guys next video.